We're off to Puyallup to see how raspberries are used in one of the hottest beverages on the market. I'm here with Rich Cockrell and we're at the Cockrell Cider Farm. So you have several acres of fruit that you use for your cider. We do. We have seven acres of uh, English bittersweet apples and we have red raspberries, blackberries. We make uh, two different raspberry flavored ciders and we think Puyallup Valley raspberries are the best around. Yeah, I know. Why is that? What's it about the Puyallup well, you, Valley? You've got to, I mean, look at the soil we have around here. It's just, it's, it's legendary uh, volcanic soil and it makes just wonderful berries. I grew up picking raspberries uh, for penny, pennies, a, pennies a pound, but uh, it was a great yeah. experience. I grew too. up in Puyallup. Yeah. Picking blueberries. Oh, that's even harder. So I have, I have picking skills. Oh, well, we need to pick some then. We do? Yeah. Okay, let's try. All right. <laughs> If they just come out easy in your hand like mm -hmm. this here, beautiful big berries, yeah. those are the ones we want to want to keep. So for every four that you pick, I'll eat five. That's good. We eat quite a few as <laughs> okay. ourselves. Yeah. So you pick the berries. Mm -hmm. Then, then what do you do to actually get the berries ready to make cider? Well, what we do is after we pick our berries, we juice our berries. We're going to have you start on this. Oh, okay. We're going to put some fresh raspberries in here. So I'm going to mash. You're going to mash. A big potato masher. We're going to pour those right into our just regular apple press we use. And you can see all that good juice coming down. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, isn't that nice? I didn't realize this much went into making cider. It's starting to break out into a sweat. <laughs> <laughs> this is tough. With the raspberry juice pressed and ready to go, it's time to bring it over to where the cider is made. So this is the cider house. This is the cider house. I love it. Yeah, okay. great. And so this just is going to be stored. This, well, no, what, what we'll do is we, we, we can either store this mm -hmm. and we'll, we can freeze our, our juice right now and use it at a later date, or we can add it to our cider if the cider is ready for a secondary fermentation and we can put it right in and, and start making cider. This is where we make our cider, our hard apple cider. We start with apple juice and we uh, do the proper nutrients that it needs, proper chemistry that it needs, and then we pitch our yeast to it, and you can hear the bubbles yeah, going crazy. Yeah, I can, uh-huh, yeah. yeah. These are our six uh, basic flavors that we have all the time, our standard flavors. One of them is our Valley Red Raspberry Cider. Uh, our other raspberry cider is called the Devil Insider, and it's oh, a no. raspberry habanero cider. Really? Yes. How about a so taste? So I get to taste? Let's get some. I would love to. All right. I would love to. Rich has been dying to give me a taste of his famous raspberry habanero cider. Cheers. Woo! Can you feel it in the back of your throat? Not yet. It's coming. There it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Warms That's right good. up. That's yeah. good. When you say habanero, sometimes you scare people away. This is not a, a scary no, cider. it's super subtle. It's yeah. not like... Knock you off your right. socks there, right? Fire coming out of my eyeballs <laughs> no. or anything. No, that's nice. What's nice about cider is it's refreshing. You can have uh, yeah. a little bit more and uh, not uh, get not out of hand. Fall asleep <laughs> yeah. at the bar. Exactly. 